Alright guys, welcome to this class. So we've gotten to the point where we need to design our driver app. So just a tip of what our driver app looks like. As you can see, it's a very simple and straightforward design. But before we get to this point, we need to first of all set up the project and of course design the login and the registration pages. But I must admit, it's actually going to be roughly the same thing with our Riders app. So without spending a lot of time, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing we are going to do is to create our project. This time around, we'll call it Uber Driver. So let's go ahead and click OK. So Visual Studio 2017 comes with some preset, you know, templates. So we're going to go ahead and click blank app, right? Boom. So our project is well set up. So I must mention that by default, Visual Studio 2017, you know, comes with Android support design library. So that's why we have all the support libraries here. Though we'll probably eventually might need to update them to the latest versions, right? But before we get to that point, we're just going to go ahead and start installing Firebase packages, right? So to do that, we're going to go to our Nugget package manager. So Android support design was already installed for us, but we can just go ahead and update it to the latest version. Click OK. I accept. OK, so let's go ahead and install our Firebase packages because we are going to be using Firebase database and authentication. So we are going to be bringing these two packages into our app. So let's search for Xamarin Firebase. The package we are looking for is Firebase database and this Firebase database. So let's install this. All right, so that's successfully installed. Now we're going to install our Firebase authentication. OK. Bam. So we are done here. I'm just going to go ahead and close this. Now the next thing we need to do will be to add our app to our Firebase console, right? To do that, we're going to go to our project properties and copy our package name. So in the manifest, this is our package name, but we actually don't want it to look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and rename our package name to com.ufenix.uberdriver. So I'm going to hit Ctrl S to save this. Then I'll go ahead and copy it. So guys, let's go to our Firebase console and add this app to our Firebase project. Okay, this is our Firebase database. I'm going to go to our project settings. Currently, we have only one app added to this project, which is our Uber Rider app. But right now, we are going to add our driver app to this particular project. So what this means is that different apps can actually share one Firebase database, right? I think that's quite interesting. So let's go ahead and add our driver app to this project. So I'm going to select Android. So this is where we are going to drop our package name, right? So I'm going to paste our package name here and that's all we actually need to do. If we have our signing keys, we can go ahead and put it here, but this is basically optional. So let's click on register app. We can go ahead and download our Google services.json because we actually will be needing it inside of our Visual Studio eventually. All right, so let's go ahead and click next. Next. All right, let's just skip this boom so our new app has been added now we can go ahead and start making use of firebase in our project but before that i can copy this fingerprint from this place and add it here so i'm going to save my fingerprint and our database is well set up now we can now rock and roll so guys let's head back to our visual studio and continue the rest of the stuff Okay, so the next thing we need to do would be to set up our Firebase and how to do that is by adding our Google services.json file we just downloaded, okay, because that's apparently the latest of that file. So we need to go ahead and add it to our project, okay. So to do that, I'm going to go to my Solution Explorer, click on my project, right click on it and add the existing item. So the JSON file is located on my desktop, so here it is. So let's go ahead and add it. Okay, now we have that. So we're going to right click and change the properties because we want to set the build action to be something different. So the build action, we're going to change it to Google Services JSON. All right, bam, so we are done with this. So the next thing we need to do will be to initialize our Firebase. And to do that, we need to set up our app data helper, all right? So this helper helps us to initialize our Firebase, get our Firebase current user and authentication and all those sort of stuff, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. 
in my solution explorer of course this folder i'm going to call it helpers we did all this when we were setting up our rider app so we can go ahead and do the same thing for our driver app as well but this time around we're going to be a little bit faster so that we can cover a lot of ground without wasting time so i'm going to call this app data helper okay so let's go ahead and add this class let's change this to public we're going to make this a static class so that we can always access our functions from anywhere within our application all right after we're done with that the first thing we need to do will be to create a function that return a database like we did earlier so we're going to say public static firebase database so if you if yours is not showing something like this you probably need to rebuild your app or close the solution and restart it again all right so let's go ahead and bring in this reference so i'm going to call this get database just like we did in our writers app so guys to, to save us some time i could just go ahead and copy the codes from our writers app so this is my writers app so everything is roughly the same thing so i'm just going to go ahead and grab all this all right so we paste that here and we are good to go so we need to resolve this and everything is fine so we actually need another function that will return the instance of our current user and our firebase authentication so to ensure that we don't waste much time we can actually go ahead in the writers app as well and copy that code guys i think that's just the best option for us to be able to save us some time so let's go ahead and copy that so we have the get auth and the get current user so i'm going to fold this and fold this and also i need all this as well all right so i'm just go ahead and copy all of them okay so i'm gonna paste this here and we have all this set up for us so let's bring this instance and also to resolve this we need to define an instance of i shared preferences which we can also head back to our writers app and copy the code this is what we have here all right This was a global variable so we paste it here and we are done so guys everything that has to do with our app data we've actually done it quickly and much more faster because we just had to copy some of the code from the writers app and we are good to go that's probably everything we need to do here in the next class we are going to be setting up login and sign up for our drivers app so guys see you in the next class